promised, here comes a video. That kid right there is gonna get a motor, hopefully, for his Camaro today. We're going to LKQ, pick your own parts. We'll probably be there, we're gonna be there in about 14 minutes, so hopefully, we got a couple uh, <clears throat> express vans lined out that um, has the motor that we're looking for. Well, at least according to the van, it has the motor we're looking for, so. That is the uh, that's the plan right now, and hopefully we can execute it, get out of there before this heat kills us, because it is going to be a scorcher today. <clears throat> the heat's been turned up. Yeah, somebody decided it wasn't hot enough, and they decided to turn the thermostat up here in Texas. All right, guys. So uh, next shot, you should see what we're going to pull out of. Okay, so we didn't find the six O's. They're all taken already. Shocking, I know. So we got this Tahoe here. It's got the five three. We checked the VIN number. It's got the five three in it. So, we're going to attempt to just uh, hopefully yank this bad boy out. Unfortunately, it still has a transmission in it. And uh, I forgot to bring my tool to remove the fan. But uh, we're going to roll it over, make sure the engine's free. Nothing's wrong with it. At least nothing too catastrophic. So, see what happens here in a second. Guys, welcome back to Jack of All Trades. Today, we're going to go ahead and just pull the motor back out of the uh, car. We just set it in there. This is the junkyard motor we pulled. Um, I didn't really record a whole lot of it because that day was extremely hot, uh, humid, and it just sucked ass. So I only got a little bit of uh, initial, I only recorded just an initial little bit of it. After that I was done, I didn't feel like screwing with the, uh, the camera trying to get shots and all that crap. So the day after. Well, let me, let me give a little bit of backstory. So when we were checking out at LKQ, we were checking out <clears throat> and I didn't realize that they charged you for every little bit of thing on the freaking motor. So we pulled, watch my firewall, man. We pulled the torque converter off. And in the middle of pulling the torque converter off, we uh, noticed that the motor kind of locked up a little bit. I didn't think too much of it. I was like, okay, well maybe just hit some weird shit. So we went ahead and took it anyways. Well, the next day when we got it home, well, the next day after we brought it home, we pulled it off of the trailer and noticed a hole in the block. Now, I know typically you can go back for the warranty and exchange it but we rushed out of there before they could put any marks on the engine. So there's no marks on this engine. So I think we're pretty much SOL at this point. So me being the awesome father that I am, I offered to pay my son some money for it since I was kind of partially to blame. Because I looked at the motor, I didn't see nothing on the driver's side except for the oil level missing there's nothing on this side actually I'm sorry there is I thought it was on the uh, driver's side so there's the hole in the block <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and pull it apart check the carnage out see what uh, what's all fucked up in there because hopefully the heads if the heads are savable I'm going to purchase the heads off my son. And probably the water pump, since my motor needs a water pump. Sorry, I'm trying to push this car back and talk at the same time. It's right up underneath the motor mount, see if you can see this. Yeah, right there. So, something attempted to come through the block, but didn't quite make it. But we're about to find out what these heads look like. We'll go ahead and pull the valve covers off. Here's the cart. I'll just film. Cody. Let's go ahead and pull, pull this side off. So, don't make the same mistake I made, not checking it fully. Like I said, we t I turned it over. Everything looked fine. Nothing else looked crazy. So it was hot. It was extremely uncomfortable day. So 
mistakes were made. Mostly on my part. Impact should be there, no? Further ado. Pull it off. Well, all the rockers are there. Here's that bolt that we saw sitting there. Oh, I think that's the. Yeah, I think, okay, yeah, that's part of the oil cap that goes in there. This bolt. No clue what the fuck that bolt went to. Well, no, the rockers. So, jacked. It's got the stock head bolts in it. I don't see anything that looks like any remnants of a cracked head. There's another piece. Yeah, must have fell down inside the engine. Mm -hmm. It must have accidentally broke it. Off. Yeah, accidentally. Accident. We'll go with it accidentally. Okay, that's kind of scary. Well, I don't know. I guess maybe that's normal. All the rockers straight up. No, the rockers look like they're pushed. Rook, move that motor over. I want to see if these things move. Just roll the motor. Huh? Yeah, rotate the motor. Let's see what it does. Pull the, pull the plugs out. Here. Pull the... Well, these are the 706 heads. I don't see any indication of a crack yet around the bolt heads. Well, you know what though? This isn't a cast tech either, so it's a different casting. It's different by a different manufacturer. So here's a quick lesson, guys. I don't see the cast tech brand in here. These might yeah, these might be our. No, that's. No, there's a. I'll show you. I'll go grab my other heads. The ones, my original heads to the Blue Beast. I'll show you. So those are called a cast tech. Cast tech. Head. And those have a, it looks like a battery. That's what I think it looks like. Yeah. There it is. So, you see right there, that's the Cast Tech branding. Now, the rest of it's all the same. So, we gotta look and see if we see that. There's an H there. The other one over there on the motor had an O. So, Note to self, aluminum heads are sharp. It's right up underneath. Let me see. And naturally, you wouldn't be able to see it. God damn it. No, that looks like it's going to be a fucking cast tech head. It's hard to see, but we'll see better once we get that open. <sighs> see, mine has an H right there. That one says O. It's probably a fucking cast tech head. But we'll see. Pull the, pull the plugs out. Right there. Loosen. Locked up. Mm -hmm. Try the other way. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? It might be the timing chain. Maybe I don't know. Turn it back. Okay. There's stuff moving over there. All right, well, fuck it, let's, uh, 
I guess let's zip these rockers off. Really curious to see if that's a cast they can. Hey! Break them loose. I'll go get you another battery. What are you barking at? Shithead? No barking. No barking. Funny thing is, is it doesn't seem like one side's dirtier than the other, really. It's not as bad. Not like the Yukon was. The Matthew Mill Fire was pretty dirty on one side. Yeah. Alright, pull that rack off. I want to see what's under it. Cast tech. Yay! Cast tech head. Whatever it is. Yep, yeah, it's a cast tech head. Whatever. I'll run them until they break. Hopefully, it's a little while. Oh, maybe so. Hands on deck. Well, when you don't want them to be, they are. No, so whatever you say is the opposite of that. Pretty much. Totally the opposite. Alright, you got the front part? Folks, chunks of uh, piston. Yeah, the windage tray is blown through. Chunks, all chunks. There's piston chunks, rod chunks. All right, well, we can pull off this windage tray and see what that looks like as well.
Score the cylinder walls. <laughs> so here's these two pistons right here. See, they're not even moving. Where's that rubber mallet? You see a rubber mallet? Smack those some bitches. See if we can get them to move. No, nope, other way. Down. Get them down. No, no, no. In. Push them off. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Moving. Maybe we can get those loose. I want to see what that looks like underneath there. Here, get that impact. See if we can impact that off. Get those two. Slightly used crank for sale, guys. Right 
tap it on. Rotate the crank. Oh, the other one's already loose. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already got that one loose? Oh, I thought you only got the other one loose. Oh, you only got one on each one? Here, watch out. Believe it or not, I mean, the crank doesn't look horrible, honestly. I think the crank, we could always take it to the machine shop and see what they say. See how much it would uh, they would charge to maybe fix this one if it needs to get fixed. It got dents in it. Oh, yeah. never mind. It's fucked. Never mind. Never mind. Well, we can throw these casts back in there. We might be able to get a little bit of money for that. Pull that cam out. Let's take a, a water pump bolt. Put it in there. Oh yeah, I gotta get those off. Yeah, that's a ten. You know what? Here, dump. It's gotta go all the way upside down so those lifters rotate it a couple times. Just spin the motor or spin the cam. Push those lifters up. Put a, you gotta put a water pump bolt in it. Watch out. Ow! Son of a bitch! Slightly like used piston for sale. <sighs> there should be some water pump bolts there. Some of the long ones, the ones that you got out earlier, right there. Mm -hmm. Right in front of that piston, right there. Yep. That'll thread in. There you go. Now spin it. The whole thing, the whole cam. Push the cam back in, and I'll spin it. Yep, spin it. Will it come out now? Yep. You gotta use that water pump bolt as like a guide to help. You want to salvage that cam? I think it's just a factory cam. Mm -hmm. Anything major look wrong with it? Well, that's in the middle. Bearings? Or you want to do something cool with it? You can break it in half. Yeah, you break it, just take it out there and drop it on the ground, and it'll break right in half. Just drop it straight on the ground, that's how much it'll break. Just hold it head height. And just drop it, and it'll it'll snap right in half. You want to do it? Oh man, do it for YouTube's. Do it for the views. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. We can weld it back together if you want to use it for something. I said we can always weld it back together if we want to use it for something. It's just a stock cam. You really want a stock cam? Hmm? Okay. So, figured you want to see something cool. Guess not. It looks fine. That's fine. That's just machining. Hey, I don't think there's any marks on the end of it, is there? Some scoring right there. I'm pretty sure it's probably shot just like the rest of everything else. Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Just hold it above your head and just drop it. Nope. It's got to go length, lengthwise. Flat. Yep. Hold it above your head and just drop it. Oh, shit. Well, maybe it's the old school camshafts that'll break. 
<laughs> Try it again. <laughs> God damn. Well, I guess it's not gonna break. Wanna make a lamp out of it? Make a lamp out of it. Fuck it. Clean her up, paint it, and make a lamp out of it. Alright, well, it's, it, it, it passed the drop test. What do you think, Cody? What do you think? Cody, got you a present. Look, it's a big bone. Mmm. Oh, he's, he's licking his chops. Mmm. I gotta pass. It smells a little burnt. Alright, gents. Well, that will conclude this video for today. If you liked all the dumb shit you got to see us do, then like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys.